Hello guys, I'm back again. This is HBT Tutorial for your open source applications, diners, and other apps. So, I have found a new app so that can help, especially on uh, work from home. If you are looking uh, for, if you are looking for the uh, open source time tracking, so you can use the cat cart. So, manage your time with this. So, what is CART? Uh, CART is an open source tracking solution designed to be a flawless integrated with your infrastructure. So, superpowers with future built-in screenshot capture activity detection. It's a great instrument to boost your team performance. So, this is the benefits open source acti activity tracking on-premise. So, then extension. This is the sample dashboard. Okay, so uh, once again, before you continue watching my video, can you please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you're always updated on my latest video. So, okay, guys, so let's start on. We can try to install it on our AWS EC2 server so that we can make a test if this application is working. It's working so okay so what are the minimal requirements at least you have 2 gig of RAM and 5 gig Docker okay so we will use Docker installation for now uh, maybe uh, they have another installation using advanced installation configuration so this is the advanced configuration <coughs> Okay, so I think if you have already a web server, you can add this server. But for now, we will use the um, we will use the Docker installation. So I think it's this uh, very easy for now if we if we are using the Docker Docker rice. Okay, so we will start. So for now, I will create um. Cloud server on EC2. Okay, so I will choose Ubuntu. And then community software. So I will use the latest version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20. And then at least 2 gig of RAM, T3 small, it's okay for me. And then, okay, for now, it's the default for storage i will choose 20 gig for now and then name cut up this okay so this should be my cut up and then for the wizard i will create a new security group my ip and uh, my ip i will choose for now okay lock on my IP then shut me so I will go to my product spot to install the damper and So at least you have a Docker 18.9. So what is the available version for? Okay, so uh, once we're ready, just uh, review my instances. Okay, just copy this one and I'll go to the putty. Okay. SSH security authentication. Look for your uh, SSH spam key. Concerning Ubuntu. Then open. Okay, so you, I have successfully logged in on my booty. So I can now start to do the installation. First, you need to do you need to do an update. App update. and then you can do the app upgrade okay.
so I'm waiting and then we start the installation for the Docker so we have done and then we can now start this one ok almost done Okay, and then next, we're going to start the installation for the Docker. Okay, next. Then go back here. Next step will be okay. Okay, the next will be we'll go up here. Okay. and then you need to update again. Okay, and then we will install the Docker now. So after that, you can do the system Docker restart. So that's uh, if you need the Docker Composer, you can download. But for me, we need only uh, Docker. Okay, so you can enable on the startup. You can run the system system control enable Docker. Okay, and then now we're going to back on our installation use on our cut PR. So, going just copy the installation script. Okay, and then run, you run the bash script. Okay, then enter and then just type yes. Okay, and then enter the domain name of intent. So you need at least you need uh, to have a domain name. So we will create a domain, a subdomain using our route 53. Okay, so using our route 53, we will create a domain. So click the route 53. Okay, then hosted zone, my domain, so I will create a record, paste, card, PR, then create. So, and then you can copy my, copy domain, my domain, then paste here, so my domain is dot er at hbtutorial dot gk and then enter administration name so it be hbtutorial hb tutorial and email so my email and then Password. It should be okay. Do you want to enable? I can choose yes, so that it will auto update. 
Okay, while you're waiting, you need to download all the required applications and data on the Docker container. And once it's done, we can ready to browse our application, I think. So just wait until it's finished all the download on for the Docker file. Okay. Okay, so no Chrome job for root, so you can check now administrator with email. Okay. So we can copy this and we can try now to access our part up. Part up that tutorial that Okay, so we have successfully installed. And then next. And then. So you have uh, our top API, the next. Time zone. So I have. Manila. Okay, next. Okay, the next. Create an admin account. I have created this. Okay, so you can enable. They have also a captcha, so we can enable it later. Or I don't have yet a captcha. So complete. Okay, I can save. Start. Okay, so we have successfully login and set up our uh, cart application. So this will be a good application, I think. Okay, that will be a good time. Can I change the logo? So you 
can configure and okay so we have successfully installed our car tap so uh this is all for now so we will continue again on how to use it and download their apps and make some projects and see what will happen and if the time will be recorded and if they can take some screenshot so i will check and update you for another video on how to use it okay okay password time zone so they have a uh, in their documentation so they have a lot of uh, settings and exciting setup for for this uh, time tracking application okay guys this is for now well, this is hbt tutorial so if you like this video can you please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so that we always updated on my latest upload okay guys thank you and i'll be back again for another video for this on how to on how to create a project and task create user and configure the desktop application so that your employee they can start the time and record it on your startup server okay guys thank you and once again this is hbt tutorial bye bye